Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my sort of video review, giving my thoughts after seeing the <laughs> first official trailer, full length trailer, from Marvel for the Ant-Man movie. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen the trailer yet, I'll put the link in the description. You can go ahead and click that to watch it yourselves, and then come on back and watch this review afterwards. So, wanted to get my thoughts on this one, as of course we've been hearing about the Ant-Man movie for a while now. It's been rumored, it's been, you know, canceled, it's been, you know, back and forth like crazy online. You can you know, read about it over the years, and it's just, it seemed like it was probably never going to happen. Finally, is uh, is happening, it's going to be released July 17, 2015, starring Paul Rudd as Ant-Man, with uh, Corey Stahl as uh, the villain, most of us think, uh, Darren Cross, Yellow Jacket. Uh, there's also an image of him that has um, leaked online that you can check out, and I do actually like the suits. I think both suits look pretty damn cool. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how like badass you can make Ant-Man look. It's kind of a silly concept. Giant Man, yeah, okay, that's not too hard. But Ant-Man, I mean, it's just, it, it's pretty out there. You know, of all the different superheroes you can think of, Ant-Man is pretty kind of out there, <laughs> you know? So their solution to it is kind of the same as, I almost want to say that Josh Whedon was kind of the one that came up with it with regards to Marvel, which is that their formula, same thing they did with Guardians of the Galaxy, is they take the superheroes, and rather than trying to take them 100% seriously, sometimes they take them seriously, but then other times they mix in that sort of uh, silly comedy aspect to it, just like Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, just like the Avengers, if you guys remember the Avengers you know, movie, obviously. Um, they, they did have quite a bit of kind of that fun, silly humor mixed in. So it doesn't surprise me that they casted Paul Rudd for this one as that's his bread and butter. That's what he does. You know, he's kind of one of those uh, comedians. I, I'd say he's a top tier comedian. He's been a lot of, you know, the big uh, comedy movies like, uh, oh, m many of them, 40 year old virgin and uh, all kinds of different, uh, you know, pretty big comedies over the last uh, decade or so. Um, so he's kind of he's he's a good choice for it because he can kind of play that uh, you know being serious doing that is not very difficult to do but a lot of uh, you know actors I would think may have more trouble with kind of the comedy side which he of course is great at uh, his opposite Corey Stahl uh, the uh, sort of uh, villain or his nemesis so to speak Yellow Jacket. He is in uh, The Strain, if you guys have seen that. I reviewed it during the summer. Uh, he's fantastic. He's really serious, really can be scary, intimidating, and really knows uh, really knows his stuff. So he, he's really, really good. And The Strain is also kind of a um, sort of like it, it's a vampire type um, vampire type show, but there's a lot of science mixed into it too, which is right up, um, you know, uh, Yellow Jacket, Ant-Man's type uh, category for what what it is in terms of, you know, the superhero and, and what he uses. Now, in terms of the trailer and everything, he's, he's called Scott, so we do know that he's not the original Ant-Man. He's kind of, uh, it seems that uh, Hank Pym, of course, is, is, you know, the one who has has created the suit, created everything like that, and then he's kind of he's kind of choosing Scott Lang to be the Ant Man because it seems like he's getting older, that kind of thing, uh, and that's uh, that seems like that's how that's going to go. So um, I haven't read too much into the Ant Man individual comic books. I mean, obviously, seeing Ant Man, Giant Man, a lot of the different Avengers teams and stuff like that. So I can't comment too much on you know comic accuracy and compare and things like that because I just haven't been you know somebody that would pick up Ant Man, Giant Man comic books by themselves mostly in teams is when I uh, when I read and when I uh, you know check it out um so with regards to the movie, I think it's going to be some fun. I think it's going to be that same kind of strategy that they've used uh, for Guardians of the Galaxy and the others. And uh, I think it'll be probably okay. I, I don't think it's going to be you know <laughs> nearly as good as the Avengers or anything like that. But it should be fun by itself. It should be funny. And I think that uh, after all these years and all this planning and everything going back and forth on it, finally them getting to do it. I mean, it's good overall for the you know the cinematic universe to just expand. And, you know, I'm sure eventually we'll see it kind of, you know, cross into one of the Avengers movies. Of course, the second one, you know, is too early for that, I would think. Maybe an Easter egg or something or, you know, some kind of loose tie-in. Uh, but then I'm sure probably the third Avengers, that kind of thing, we'll see it cross over. Um, 
who knows, maybe there'll even be some, you know, crossover elements in this one. Uh, maybe a, a quick cameo or something. You guys know how they do it with the Marvel movies, so should be fun. Let me know what you guys think about the trailer. I, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I don't have my hopes sky high or anything like that. I am happy to see the more comic book movies we can get, the better, because I do love the genre. And uh, Ant Man is is a character that uh, he's still kind of out there. It's it's fun to see that he's he's finally going to be getting his own movie, and the CG looks great. You know when he transforms down into the smaller form, or he's <laughs> he's uh, riding the uh, the flying. I think it's an ant flying ant and all that. Um, should be some fun. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. That's pretty much all I got to say for this one. Write your comments below if you like this quick little review or breakdown or give me my thoughts on. Please thumb it up below, and uh, yeah, if you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. That's it for this one, guys. See you as always for the next one. So as a strap, same piece.